Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful gradient background hover transitions with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Next, we're going to give a page a name. So I'm just going to call this tutorial and then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. Right, so for this design, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to come over here and click on build from scratch. Now, having said that, if you want to build this design on an existing page, all you have to do is to add a new section. All right. So now that I've added my uh, page, the next stage is to come over here to my section settings, design, spacing, and then I'm going to remove my padding on this design. So I'm just going to activate my chain and that allows me to add this both to the top and the bottom. So now it's time to just close this and add our columns. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and add a single column. So at the moment, we're not going to add anything in here. So I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to come over here to my row settings. So what we need to do here is to just stretch our column to make it edge to edge. So in order for us to do that, I need to come over here to design sizing. And then over here by default, it's set to 80%. So you want to set it to 100%. And then the same thing here on the maximum width. And now this is how our column is going to be edge to edge. Next, we are going to remove the padding on uh, the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And as we did before, I'm just going to add a zero here and activate my chain. So now we don't have any padding on the top and the bo bottom of the row. All right, so the next stage now is to add our text module. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my text module. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm just going to replace this and just add a title in here. So this title could be anything. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to highlight this and set my title to heading one. Now let's go ahead and customize and stylize our heading. So to do that, we're going to come over here to design heading text and Make sure you've got the tab here, heading one, and then I'm going to change my font. So I'm going to choose this one here, Monsterat. And then over here, I'm just going to make sure my alignment is set to center. My color needs to be black. So I'm going to come over here on the eyedropper tool and just drag this until I get to all the way down here to black for my title. So the next stage is to add my heading text size. So I'm going to set this to 3VW and I'm also going to add some letter spacing here. So it's going to be 0 0.7. So the next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to customize my width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And for my width here, you can see by default, it's set to auto. We want this to be at about 48%. And the module alignment needs to be centered. So I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I'm also going to add a top margin. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add my top margin. Okay, now it's time to add my divider module. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to come over here and click this plus button and search for my divider module. So I just type in a few letters here and then I can just select it. Now let's go ahead and start it. But before I do that, you want to make sure that show divider is set to yes and then come over here to design line and let's set our line color. So we want our color here to match with our text. So I'm going to click here on this um, eyedropper tool and just drag the slider all the way down to black. Next, we're going to add our divider weight. So I'm just going to come over here to sizing. And uh, this is where we can set our divider weights. And uh, it's going to be 0.1 VW. And for the width, we're going to set this to 10%. So as you can see now, this line is all the way here to the left. So let's bring it to the middle here by just clicking here on module alignment. So the next stage now is to just add a bit of spacing. So I'm going to come over here and uh, set my top and bottom padding. So this is going to be 2VW. And this needs to be both to the top and also the bottom. It's time now to add a bit of content to our design. So I'm just going to save this and then add another module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So I'm just going to paste some dummy text in here. But of course, you can use whatever text uh, comes in here by using this. All right. So now that I have my uh, text in there, let's head over to my text settings. So I'm going to click here on design text. So the first thing we're going to do is to change our font. So I'm going to come over here and choose open sans. Next, I'm going to come to my text alignment and choose justify. 
And I'm also going to set my line height to 2.3 EM. So this just enables us to have some um, decent spacing so that it's easier for our visitors that come to our website to read our text. All right, so I'm going to set this to 2.3. Now, as you can see, the width of this text here is way too much. So we need to reduce this by coming over here to the sizing. And we're going to reduce the width to about 30%. And again, as we did before, we need to center this. Now it's time to add our button. So I'm going to save this. And then again, I'm going to click on this plus button and choose my button. All right, so... We need to do a bit of work here. So first of all, let's change our button uh, text. So I'm going to call this learn more. And uh, because everything else here is centered, we're also going to center our button. So I'm going to click here on design alignment and then center the button. Now let's customize our button because right now, as you can see, we don't really have a design going on here. So in order for us to customize our button, we need to come over here to button and then activate use custom styles for button. So the first thing we're going to do is to set our button text size. So I'm going to change this from 20 pixels to 0.8 VW. And then I'm going to also set my button text color to black. Next, I'm going to come over here to my border width and set this to one pixel. And I'm also going to do one pixel on the border radius. Now let's uh, choose the font. So I'm going to choose Monster Rat, same font as our heading. And now let's further customize our button and give it some breathing space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way down here to spacing and then I'm going to start adding my margins. So I'm going to start here with my top margin, which is going to be 2VW. My bottom margin is going to be 10VW. And now it's time to add my top and bottom margin and I'm going to set this to 1VW. And for the left and right, I'm going to set it to 3VW. Activate my chain and now we have a custom button. So pretty much we have all the elements that we need for our section. So let's go ahead and save this. So since we're going to have three separate designs, we might as well go in and duplicate these sections. So as you can see right now, I don't have access to uh, duplicate my section. So if that's the case, I'm going to come over here to the bottom um, expand settings, click on wireframe mode, and then just duplicate it here twice. So now we're going to go in and do three designs. So let's start working on our first section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings because we need to go in and add our background gradients. So I'm going to come over here on background and then click on the second tab. Click on this plus button and add your first color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I'm going to leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now it's time to add my second color. So I'm going to click here on my second color and paste it in here like that. Next, I'm going to adjust my gradient direction. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here and set this to 90 degrees. Now, if you want to see what uh, design or what, what is happening in my design here, uh, you can just click here on this uh, arrow, I mean on this uh, icon, and this will switch to your desktop mode, and now you can see what you're designing. All right, so we've set this to 90 degrees. Now it's time to set the start and end position. So I'm going to set this to 50% for the start and 50% for the end. And now we have a solid line cutting across our design. Right, so now that we have this in place, let's add our hover gradient. So, so making sure you're over here on your background, click on this little arrow pointing up. This is our hover effect. So I'm going to click on that and then click on hover. Now I can start adding my colors for the hover. So I'm going to start here with my first color, uh, paste it in place, add my second color. And then I'm also going to uh, add my start and end positions and it needs to be at 50% and the same applies here. And make sure the uh, direction is also set to 90 degrees. Now let's go into our row and make some uh, design changes as well. So before I do that, I'm just going to switch back over here to my wireframe mode and then save this. All right, so to go into our row, you just need to click on this gear icon and then you want to click on background. And as we did before, you want to go in and add all your gradient colors. So I'm going to come over here, make sure you're on the uh, second tab for your gradient, click the plus button and add your first color. So I'm going to paste it in here, add my second color. 
This time our color is going to have some transparency, so make sure you click anywhere in here, drag the slide a little bit, and then paste the value between the brackets. And uh, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I've added my second color, in fact, let me just take a look here at the design by switching over to my desktop view. Right, so uh, I'm also going to change my gradient direction here by setting this to 90 degrees. And my start and end position is gonna be 10% and 10%. All right, so now that we have our colors in place, let's now add the hover gradient. So I'm gonna click on this arrow again, click on the hover tab. I'm gonna add my first color, and this color is gonna have transparency. So again, drag the slider down and paste the value between the brackets. Add the second color. So this is going to be a normal color. So I'm just gonna drag the slider all the way up and then add my color like that. And I uh, also need to add my start and end position. And this time it's gonna be set to 90% and 90%. So pretty much we're done here. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, just switch between the desktop and the hover. And that's, that's looking okay. I'm gonna save this. And then I'm just gonna publish and make sure everything is all saved. All right, so let's move on to our next design. So, this is going to be our second section. So again, I'm gonna click on this gear icon to go into my section settings. So I'm gonna start by coming over here to my background, clicking on the second tab, click the plus button, and let's start adding our colors. So I'm gonna add my first color in here, add my second one, and then over here on the gradient direction, we're gonna set this to 156, and my start and end position is gonna be 50%. Next, let's add our hover gradient. So I'm gonna click on this arrow one more time, click on the hover, and then I'm gonna start by adding my first color. So I'm gonna click here, paste my color, click on the second item and add my second color. Okay, and then on the gradient, uh, the gradient direction, I'm gonna set this to 204. And for my start and end position, it's gonna be okay at 50%. All right, so pretty much this is done. The next stage now is to go into our rows because that's where we're going to add uh, further design. So I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna click on this gear icon to enter my row settings, click on background. Now come over here on the second tab, click the plus button and add your first color. So I'm gonna paste it in here, click on the second color. Now this is gonna be a transparent uh, color, so what you need to do is to just drag that slider down a little bit until you see the brackets, and then paste the value between the brackets. And then next, with this time, we're going to use a different type of gradient. So I'm gonna click here and uh, change this to radial, and the position here is going to be bottom left. So now I'm gonna set my, set my start position, and this is gonna be 14%. And end position is also going to be 14%. Now, I'm not sure what's happening here with the colors. I'm just gonna go back in and set my colors one more time. So this one here needs to be transparent. So I'm just gonna paste my values one more time here. And then I'm gonna go to my first color, drag the slider all the way up, and then just paste it in here. All right, so that looks, that looks okay now. All right, so next, now it's time to add our hover. So I'm gonna come over here, making sure I'm on the background. Click on this little arrow, click on the hover tab, and let's start by adding our first color. So I'm gonna click here and paste my color in place. Click here on, in fact, this one here needs to be full transparent, so that's fine. Uh, the uh, gradient type is radial, and this time it's gonna be top left. And our start position and end position is 14%, so that looks okay, so I'm gonna save this. So with this design, we're going to go further into the column settings. So I'm gonna click here on my uh, column settings, click on background, and uh, we're also going to add some gradients here. So I'm gonna click on this um, second tab, click this plus button, add my first color, and then come over here on the second color. I'm gonna drag this all the way down. And this one here is full transparency, so I'm just gonna drag yeah, make sure that you drag everything all down here. And um, and over here on our gradient type, we're gonna set this to radial and the uh, direction, 
Let's set this to top right. All right, so moving on, our start position needs to be at 14% and end position 14% as well. Now let's add our hover colors. So I'm going to click here on this little arrow, click on the hover tab, add my first color. And then my second color here is full transparency, so that's fine. And everything else is okay. The only thing that we need to do is to change the radial direction to bottom right. So I'm going to click here and set this to bottom right. So pretty much that's, uh, that's, all, that's all we need to do here. So let's go ahead and save. Now, the only time we can actually see this in action is if we save the page and exit the Visual Builder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one more design and then show you the final design. Okay, so let's go in and uh, go into our section settings for our third section. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on background, second tab for our gradient. And again, we're gonna set our colors. So this time I'm just gonna click on this plus button and add my first color. I'm gonna paste it in here like that, add my second color. And this time my second color is gonna be white. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this white. And our gradient type is going to be radial. So change this from linear to radial. And then our radial direction is going to be top. So I'm gonna click here and set it to top. And our start and end position is gonna be 45. So we've got the first part there all set. Now let's go in and add our hover settings. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here and click on this arrow pointing up, click on the hover tab, and let's add our first color. I'm gonna paste it in here. My second color here is white, so pretty much my settings here are the same. But this time, the only change is going to be on our radial direction, and this time it's gonna be set to left, and our start and end position is gonna be 20%. So, let's save this. Now, let's go into our row settings by clicking here on this gear icon. So again, we're gonna to go to our background, click on the second tab, click this plus button, and let's add our first color. So I'm gonna click here, and paste my first color. And then my second color is going to be full transparency. So I'm just gonna drag the slider all the way down. And our type, our gradient type is gonna be radial. And the radial direction is gonna be bottom. So I'm gonna change this from center to bottom. And I'm gonna set my start and end position to 45%. All right, so now it's time to add our hover settings. So I'm gonna come over here on my background, click this little arrow, click on the hover tab, and then let's add our colors. So I'm just gonna replace my color in here. And this is full transparency, so that's fine. The gradient type is radial, and this time the, the uh, radial direction needs to be set to right. So I'm gonna click here and set this to right. And our start and end position is 20%. So pretty much um, we are getting close to finalizing our design, but we've only got one thing that we need to do, and that is to go into our columns. So I'm gonna save this. Then I'm gonna, in fact, I need to click here on this gear icon to go into my column settings, click on background, and so I'm gonna click here on the second tab and let's start adding our colors. So I'm gonna paste my first color. My second color is going to be a fully transparent color. So I'm gonna click here on transparency. Gradient type needs to be radial and the direction center is fine. And then our start position is gonna be 41 and 41. Okay, so that's looking great. Next, I'm gonna add, in fact, pretty much this is all we need to do for this design. So it's time now to preview and take a look at this. I'm gonna save this, save it one more time. I'm gonna save the actual page. And now let's exit the Visual Builder. So if all works well, all our hovers should be working fine. So this is our normal state. So when I hover, notice what happens. The color is now changing. And this is our first design. Let's move on to our next one. And here as well, you can see here that our design is switching on hover. And then let's take a look at our final design. And again here, everything is working fine. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.